And if you heard that, that was three ugga duggers. But that's on a small wrench. You only want two ugga duggers on a big one. Yeah, cheers. The alarm's just gonna give us a rave. So according to John, Mark and Alfred on Facebook, if you do this modification, you will crash and you will die. Undertake this modification at your own risk. Any crashes happening after this modification are your own stupid fault. Hi guys, Brynn here at BWSTT. Today we're gonna to be looking at removing the harmonic damper from the rear of this 225. Now I'm pointing down here because that's where it will be on every single variant. Whether you're left hand drive, right hand drive, it's always in the same spot. The reason for that is it is not a counterweight. It is not there to counteract the weight of the driver, of the fuel or anything like that. It is simply there to remove unwanted harmonic frequencies that might occur in the cabin. But I'm unaware of anyone that's ever noticed a difference inside the cabin after removing this. So the only thing we're doing is removing a load of weight off the rear axle, which can only be a good thing on a heavy car. First thing we're going to want to do is get the rear of the car up in the air. Now, if you're unsure how to do that, I've got a video on jacking the TT up safely. So watch that video, I'll put the link up here somewhere and then come back to this one. Luckily for me, I've got this ramp, so I'm just gonna get it up in the air and show you what's going on. Of course, we could consult the Haynes manual, but we all know that they are a load of rubbish. Let's start by removing both wheels. So we're gonna to need to remove these T25 fixings all the way around the arch liner so that we can pull this away and get access to two 10 mil nuts that live up here. Put them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. So we're gonna peel back the liner, wedge it out of the way, get our 10 mil in there and go up into here and undo these two bolts. Obviously don't forget we've got to do this other side as well, of course. Same both sides. Typical. Yeah, cheers. The alarm's just gonna give us a rave. So I'm just trying to film a video here. Do you mind? Five minutes later. There we go. So, now that we've done all that underneath, we're gonna take the tail lights out to give us access and bits and bobs. So we're gonna pull this flap open here, like so. We're gonna reach in and we're gonna undo two thumb screws at the top and bottom of the light. like so, and then we're gonna gently pull the light away, unplug it, there we go. Which means that we can now get this piece off properly, which does just lift away. Let's do it the professional way though. Whee. Woo. And that reveals two T25 at the top here that we're gonna to need to undo both sides. And now you join me underneath where we need to undo some more T25s. There's just one at each end of the diffuser. Good stuff. Right, now the bumper's ready to come off. A few things to bear in mind. So we've got this little tab here that goes around this piece here. And so that's just what we've got to be mindful of when we're removing this bit of the bumper. And we can obviously go and do the same round this side. Like so. And then we need somewhere padded to put the bumper when we've taken it off. Perfect. So, this is the harmonic damper. Look at the size of it. Solid cast metal, completely pointless. So we're gonna undo the 13s that are holding the crash bar on both sides, pull that off, and then we can whip all this off. Let's get to it.
Now, put your big boy panties on, because this is heavy. Yeah. We'll weigh it, and I'll let you know exactly how much it weighs, because there's lots of rumours, 50 kilos. No, we'll give you an accurate measurement. So what we can also do is there's a nut here, look. And we can get rid of this bit as well, which also isn't needed. And then put this back on. And if you heard that, that was three ugga duggers. But that's on a small wrench. You only want two ugga duggers on a big one. And that's it, it's removed. So uh, we're gonna put the bumper back on obviously, but you don't wanna watch me doing that, do you? So just things to bear in mind with this, it's a free weight saving modification. It took, I don't know, 15 minutes if I wasn't faffing around doing this video for you to get to this point. So it really isn't uh, a big job. It's, yeah, like I said, it's free weight saving. So instead of adding power, you can remove weight and you're gonna be faster. Uh, every little helps. Um, if you're changing the bumper, then yeah, obviously, hopefully this has helped you just see how to change the bumper. If it's been useful for you, then it really would be great for me if you can just hit like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.